come in and kind of covered the sun. It was a uh, hot afternoon, especially up in this press box. But luckily, some clouds have moved in. It looks like the rain going to stay away. 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Did come up a pretty good shower here, Jared, I was told, about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Well, we were watering the field, and somebody called and said it was pouring in town. <laughs> so we kind of panicked and uh, cut the water off, and it never rained a drop. It never came over here. No. Yeah. Just one of those passing showers that uh, you see this time of year into the summer. 1-2 pitch to Dustin Stevens is high. And evens it up at two balls and two strikes. As so we are just underway here at McConnell Field, a little past 7 o'clock getting this one underway. 7-19 as the JV game ran a little late. 1-2. That one misses. Now it's a uh, full count, 3-2, and two, to Dustin Stevens, the leadoff man for the Mustangs. Panthers in action. Coming up Thursday, they move that game from Friday to Thursday. Payoff pitch. Steven sends it foul down the third baseline. That one is at Hendersonville. And they have uh, moved it up to a 5 o'clock start because there's not going to be a uh, JV game. They moved it up. Moved the day up and the game up to 5 o'clock. Does Hendersonville have lights? Is that why they did that? I don't that? think they, they do have lights, unless they have added lights in the past couple of years. Stevens punches one towards first. Up with it is Fannin. Throws it to McGuire, covering the bag. And he just gets Dustin Stevens for out number one. That's a good sign. Stevens hit the ball hard the last two times we played him. 3-1 on the put out of Dustin Stevens. That's going to bring Jed West to the plate. That'll bring up the shortstop, number 10. Jed West. The uh, shortstop is Jed West. He's also a right-handed batter. One gone here in the top half of the first inning. McGuire kicks and fires. And that one is right down the middle for strike one. Good pitch. If he can control that inner part of the plate tonight. Being a lefty, really set up his curveball and his changeup. Mustangs will have a hard time with that. Here's the 0-1. That one is swung on and just got a piece of it. Quickly in the hole, 0-2 is Jed West. That had some movement on it, Jared. That's a good curveball. And he's got a good one. He's had a good one since he was a little guy. That's something about lefties. They always seem to have a, the best curveballs <laughs> on the team. Yeah, that uh, different position from where it's coming to the plate. The 0-2 pitch. That one's fouled off. He stays alive, does Jed West. Nobody on, one out. Thanks for joining us here on YouTube Live and Facebook Live. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. 0-2. Pop foul again. West stays alive. I'm George Young. That's Jared Greenwood. Glad to be with you and our fantastic FPSN crew. Absolutely. You guys rock, by the way. Got a new this crew is, member, by the way. This is the greatest thing ever. Got a new crew member out in uh, center field helping us out. Christian Ritter. Want to welcome him to the broadcast crew. That shot you see right there. He's operating that camera out in center field. The 0-2 pitch to Jed West. Just misses high for That's ball good one. Pitch. Good pitch. Had one to waste right there, trying to set him up for curveball in the dirt right here. Change his eye level. Here's the 1-2. Didn't chase. He moves it up. Two balls, two strikes. Now we've got time called. Mound's a little sticky. Yeah. Maybe a little too much water. They can't blame you, Jared. You weren't out there. It is a little uh, a little muddy out there. I'm looking with my field goggles now. I think he's got some uh, some mud in his cleats. He's cleaning off his cleats here. And oh, yeah, they brought out a, uh, a plastic uh, spoon, looks like. Going to 
get the, uh, the mud out of his cleats. That's the old trick tape. Uh, those uh, wooden doctors where they check your tongue. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. What Take those about. up and cut them and. Yeah. The slightest thing can throw off a pitcher. Absolutely. Those guys are nuts. 2-2 <laughs> two -two pitch. Sent towards short. Up with it. Gribble over to first and dug out by Fannin for out number two. Good scoop. 6-3 on the put out. Two gone in the inning after the nice scoop by put out brings up Ethan the right Fannin. Fielder That's going to bring up Jake Miller, the right Jake fielder. Miller. Nobody on and two out as Jake Miller stands into the right hand or make that the left handed batter's box. First left handed batter we have seen in the Smoky Mountain Mustang order. As McGuire deals for strike one. The 0 1 popped back behind us in the hole, 0-2. McGuire has been out in front of the Mustangs early on in this game. Gotten him in the hole early. That's, the key. That's the key to any, yep. any level, but especially high school baseball. Throwing strikes, being able to use all of my pitches. 0-2 high, backs him off. It's a really good start. You want the batter to start thinking, right? As soon as possible. <laughs> One, two. It's a great pitch. Strike three right down the middle. It caught the zone, and that's going to do it for the first inning. Top of the first inning. The uh, Mustangs go one, two, three as we head to the bottom half of the first in a scoreless game. Hang with us on FPSN. Located at 461 Highland Road in Franklin, Carolina Junction Power Equipment is your local stop for lawnmowers, blowers, chainsaws, weed eaters, and all parts and accessories. Carolina Junction Power Equipment is also your local power sports dealer. They sell Can-Am side-by-sides and ATVs. Plus, have a full service shop for all of your power equipment and power sport needs. Give them a call at 828-369-9655 or come by today to see the largest selection of inventory around. Planning a kitchen or bathroom remodel? The first call you need to make is to Anders Custom Woodworking. Tim Anders specializes in custom cabinetry and granite countertops for kitchens, bathrooms, offices, and entertainment centers. From the large kitchens to the smallest bathrooms, Anders Custom Woodworking will make sure your specific needs are met. Give Tim Anders a call at 828-342-4222 for a free estimate today. Head to the bottom half of the first inning in a scoreless game here at McConnell Field. Here's the Franklin battery as they bat here the home half of the first. McGuire, the pitcher, going to lead things off as Austin Coker and Dawson Johnson will bat this inning. A third baseman at the center fielder. Gavin Altry in the cleanup spot tonight. David Sanders, Ashton White, Chase Gribble, Ethan Fannin, and Chandler Crawford. We'll round out the battery for the Panthers. As the uh, Smoky Mountain Mustangs will send Noah Webb on the bump tonight to face the Panthers. Chris Wilburn, the catcher behind the plate. Gavin McCoy over at first. Chris Wilburn at second. Jed West at short. And Clayton Dillard at the hot corner at third. Raylan Conlon in left. Dustin Stevens in center for the Mustangs, and Jake Miller is out in right as Wilburn sends the throw down to second. And we're about to get this bottom half of the first underway. Leading off today for the Panthers. One thing that we uh, that we mentioned 
The bats for the Panthers have gone silent here in the middle part of the season. But, you know, the old saying, Jared, it just takes a couple to get you going. Oh, hits are super contagious. And and they've been working really hard the last last several days. And I, we've, you know, been preparing for this style of pitcher, um, working on letting the ball get deeper. Webb deals, and that one is sent into right field. Miller camps under it and makes the play. One pitch, one out. McGuire is retired. Because that's what we're going to get all night. Fastballs away, curveballs away. The question is, can we stay back and uh, keep our barrel on top of the baseball? And if that happens, we got some big, strong guys. They could drive it a long way. It's going to bring Austin Coker up. Webb deals. That one is sent straight up the chute in foul territory. Dillard will make the play in foul territory. We're out number two. Two pitches and two outs. That will bring to the plate Dawson Johnson. Center fielder, number eight, Dawson. Johnson, the uh, center fielder. Well, take a couple of practice swings here as he looks down to the third base coach. Now he'll stand in. And that one misses. Want to know the count. You got to take that pitch if you're a hitter. Two pitches, two, two outs. If you're the next man up, you got to take at least the first one, if not two of them. Bounces up for ball one, ball two rather. 2-0 the count to uh, Dawson Johnson. Fouled it off. Slow Still dribbler. Still out front. Gavin Altry is on deck if Austin Johnson can reach. 2-1. Sent into center field. Dustin Stevens. Check that. It's going to be the shortstop. Jed West. That one hung up. I thought it was heading directly into center. 1-2-3. Go the Panthers in the bottom half of the uh, first inning. We head to the second. You're in a scoreless game, fans. Hang with us on YouTube Live and Facebook Live. This is the Franklin Panthers Sports Network. Sport Zone is your everyday low-priced sporting goods supplier. We have the sports gear every athlete needs to be successful, from cleats, equipment, and protective gear to complete uniform sets. We even offer screen printing, laser engraving, and embroidery, as well as custom alterations and sublimated printing right here in Franklin. Don't race out of town to find the performance gear you need. We've lowered our prices throughout the store to give you the opportunity to shop local and score big. See you at Sport Zone. Back fans, as we head to the second inning in a scoreless game, Mustangs will be sending the heart of the order up four, five, and six. Here the battery for the Mustangs: Braylon Conlon, Clayton Dillard, and Gavin McCoy. Slated to bat here in the top of the second inning as the throw goes down to second from Davis Anders to Chase Dribble or uh, Gribble, and uh, we are ready for the bottom, uh, check that the uh, top half of the second inning to get underway. Collin gets ready to stand in, the left fielder for the Mustangs. He just joined us, Christopher McGuire, able to retire the Mustangs in the top of the first inning, one, two, three. Got a strikeout in there as well, and we'll see if he can continue that momentum as McGuire kicks and fires. It's like he wants to, but 
does. Conlon is going to reach as the throw takes Ethan Fannin off the bag. And uh, that will be an error on the throw. Now batting, number eight, Clayton Dillard. And it's going to bring Clayton Dillard to the plate after the error. Clayton Dillard with a runner on. And he looks like he wants to square around. Did he offer? Yes, he did. We're strike one. Squaring the bunt in the second inning with the runner on, that's a, that's a pretty good sign. Your team's struggling at the plate. Now I'll throw yeah. over to first. Gets back safely, does Raylan Conlon. Yeah, just trying to, to get a spark, looks like. Yep. Get some base runners and put some pressure on the defense. One run could make a difference. It did the last time they squared off. Exactly right. Did make contact. Threw that ball behind him. <laughs> I think he hit the knob of the bat. I think it did. Somehow it didn't hit Clayton Dillard. 0-2 the count now. One way to keep him from bunting it. <laughs> now I doubt the bunt sign will be on in the whole 0-2. The 0-2 is sent through the hole between third and short. That'll be the first hit given up by Christopher McGuire, the first hit of the ball game. And the Mustangs have a couple of base runners, as that's going to bring to the plate Gavin McCoy. And Nobody got a, uh, That's go a good ahead. pitch, and that's ground ball what you wanted. Chase is playing off towards a little bit more in Double play depth. Um, you know, it was right at the shortstop. Just happened to be one of the situations. Now a look back to third or back to second. And getting back safely is Conlon. Two on, nobody out. We're in the top half of the second inning. McGuire. Long look in, now delivers. And again, a butt. But it's a good one. Got plenty of time. McGuire will fire to first. That time a perfect throw to first. That will advance the runners, though. With the sacrifice, one gun. Now the first run of the ball game, just 90 feet away. That's going to bring to the plate Cooper Sanders. Colin at third, Dillard at second. Sanders at the plate, the D.H., but he's a left-handed batter. One gone after the sacrifice, but move the runners over. And here's where you need to get nasty. You need a strikeout right here. As the first pitch just misses for ball one. Now they're going to say that Christopher McGuire balked. That's going to advance the runners. And Smokey has struck first. It's 1-0. Turned his shoulders a little too much right there, trying to look down at the runner at third. Yeah, McGuire knew it. 1-0. He chased that one in the dirt to even it up. And a ball and a strike. Sometimes there's a question whether or not it was a balk, but that one clearly was. 1-1. One, one. Misses. 2-1. and one. Sanders once again chases. It evens it up at two balls and two strikes. Let's go, 
Nice pitch. Caught the inside corner for strike three. Two gone. That'll bring to the plate Chris Wilbur. That's a big out, Jared. That's huge. Chris Wilbur. Now it makes you wish that ball didn't happen. As Wilburn stands in with the runner at third, two gone. A nice play by Davis Anders to keep that one from scoring a run as that one's in the dirt once again for ball one. Did that hit him? Yes, it did. It did. So runners on the corners. After Wilburn is hit by a pitch. It's a couple fastballs this inning he's pulled into the batter's box. Lincoln Sutton. It's going to bring Lincoln Sutton to the plate. The second baseman. If you just joined us, Conlon led off the inning for the Mustangs. Reaching on an error after he tried to bunt. And the throw down to first was Aaron. He came around to score. Dillard had a base hit in the inning and taken off. Wilburn will take second without a throw. I don't know what happened there. Chris didn't even look at him at first. And got a huge lead. Just kind of walked into second. 1-0. That one caught the corner. Evens it up at a ball and a strike. Second and third, two gone for the Mustangs. One run has come across. Just one hit in the inning. And Sutton swings and misses. Another good curveball. He's got that pitch working this inning. One, two. Catches the outside corner for strike three. Two strikeouts of the inning. For Christopher McGuire, but an error and a single, along with a sack bunt and a hit by a pitch. Smoky Mountain plates a run. They leave two as we head to the bottom half of the second inning. Smoky Mountain now on top, one nothing. Hang with us on YouTube Live and Facebook Live. This is the Franklin Panther Sports Network. We're coming for everyone this year. Hi, everybody, and welcome in to another night of Franklin Panthers football. Yes, yes sir. That's complete. It's good to just go out there and win. Located at 461 Highland Road in Franklin, Carolina Junction Power Equipment is your local stop for lawnmowers, blowers, chainsaws, weed eaters, and all parts and accessories. Carolina Junction Power Equipment is also your local power sports dealer. They sell Can-Am side-by-sides and ATVs. Plus, have a full service shop for all of your power equipment and power sport needs. Give them a call at 828-369-9655 or come by today to see the largest selection of inventory around. Planning a kitchen or bathroom remodel? The first call you need to make is to Anders Custom Woodworking. Tim Anders specializes in custom cabinetry and granite countertops for kitchens, bathrooms, offices, and entertainment centers. From the large kitchens to the smallest bathrooms, Anders Custom Woodworking will make sure your specific needs are met. Give Tim Anders a call at 828-342-4222 for a free estimate today. Welcome back, fans. Bottom half of the second inning we go now with the Mustangs up. one nothing after plating a run in the top half of this inning. Noah Webb remains on the bump for the Mustangs as he takes his final warm-up tosses. He's going to face the heart of the Panther order, 4-5 and 6. Gavin Altry, Davis Anders, and Ashton White to bat here in the home half of the second inning. Gavin Altry in the cleanup spot. He's going to lead things off. See if we can make an adjustment this inning. You've seen your top three guys go up and every one of them out front. So he's, he's slow, slow, and slower as a pitcher. Panthers need to make this adjustment now and do it early. And make him work a little harder than what he did that first inning. Yeah, it was uh, only two pitches that he had two outs. 
in that bottom of the first inning. Webb deals. For strike one. And there's that slower. You almost could have reached out and caught that one. That one is set high and on a line. I thought that one was headed to right center field on his horse. Jake Miller will make the play for the Smoky Mountain Mustangs for out number one. They caught that one just a little bit off the end of the bat. Number 10, Davis Anders. Going to bring Davis Anders to the plate, the catcher for the Panthers. Five hole hitter. As Noah Webb kicks and fires and sends that one outside for ball one. Glad you're with us. I'm George Young along with Panther great Jared Greenwood. Great Ooh, coach. What about the great? Great, great player. Just a great all around guy. <laughs> along with our Franklin Panthers Sports Network crew bringing you the sights and the sounds here at McConnell Field. Aiken Middle School on this, what has turned out to be a beautiful evening. It was hot earlier today, but starting to cool off. A lot of fans have made their way from both the Panthers and the Mustangs side of things. 1-1, one, one, bounces up. Two balls and a strike now to Davis Anders. Webb deals the 2 1, bounces up to the catcher, Wilburn. That one's to the backstop. This is a good sign. Davis looks relaxed at the plate. And he, he, he's not been that way the last few games. Sometimes you just got to sit and let the game come to you. A lot of guys try to force it, swinging at bad pitches. 3-1. That just one missed that one. To the backstop. His eyes probably got bright. He, he saw that one coming right down the middle high. Just missed it. And Davis is good when he keeps his head back from the baseball and gets some separation between the bat and his head. He's got tremendous pop. Sent towards third and by a diving Dillard. It'll be the first hit against Webb tonight. And a runner on. That's going to bring to the plate Ashton White. Ashton White. White, the second baseman for the Panthers. We're going to get a uh, courtesy runner in for the catcher. Looks like we will at first base. Big Sal. For the catcher for the Panthers, number five, Sal Gertio. The Gertio, Sal Gertio, will uh, now run over at first base for Davis Anders. And it's Ashton White at the plate. Now a throw over. Gertio is back safely. Got a huge hole on that right side of the infield. Ashton's really got to let that ball travel. Take advantage of that. Right now we got to get some runners moving around. Looks the runner at first, now comes home. Oh, just missed. And I tell you, Webb's deceptive because it looks like he's fixing to come at you and throw 100. It'd be hard to stay back. Two-0. One on it missed. Two and one the count with a runner at first, one gone in the home half of the second inning. Well, 
Strong look in for Noah Webb. Check the swing. Did it hit the end of the bat? It might have. Evens it up. Two balls, two strikes. Now Wilbur going to go out and talk to his pitcher, Webb. Just joined us, Smoky Mountain able to play to run in the top half of this inning. Both teams have one hit, one error for the Panthers so far in the game. Webb deals. That one's in the dirt and snagged by Chris Wilbur, the catcher, to keep the runner at first. Three, two, the count. Here's the payoff pitch. Sent foul, third baseline. Stays alive, three and two. So, George, the first two games were not conference, correct? That's correct, yeah. And then this one and then the one at the end of the season, last game of the year, will be conference. Still trying to wrap my head around that. 3-2. Back to the screen. Yeah, I think it was just a, an odd scheduling uh, quirk. You know, this year it was hard to find non-conference opponents. Mountain Six Conference only having 10 games. You had to find four. You could play 14. So a lot of the other conferences – had so many conference uh, games as that one misses for ball four. Smoky Mountain fans right below us didn't like the call. That's a base on ball for Ashton White. That's going to bring to the plate Chase Dribble as uh, White heads down to first. Two on and one out. So you can play 14 games. So you can get in the Mountain Six Conference four non-conference games. Franklin played and Smoky Mountain played each other twice. Not exactly sure. I think ACA was the other non-conference right. non -conference game. And I'm not sure if they'll be able to play at the full 14 or not. I think 13. They can squeeze all of them in. The 1-0 pitch from Noah Webb. Swung on and missed. Had a big cut. Did Chase scribble. And came up empty. And I talked to Chase right before the game, just trying to see where his head was at and get him to slow down a little bit, just to be on time with one pitch in the bat. I think sometimes we get to thinking about the hole at bat and, and forget that we just need that one pitch for everything to be in time. Take it off from second. Oh, Sal will get under. get under the tag and be safe down at third. So runners on the corners. Smokey not happy about that call either. Is it where we off? Long look in for Webb. Yeah, we're we're off. We're off offline. Runners on the corners. The 2 1 misses. Yeah. 2 and 2. He called it a strike. Oh. Two balls, two strikes. Right 2 2. Bounces up to Wilburn. Runs it full. 3 and 2. Runner takes off at first as that one is sent foul. The hit and run was on, I reckon. Or he was just swinging because it was 3 2. Stays alive. We'll count once again. One out, runners on the corners for the Panthers.
Gribble sends that one into right. On his horse, Jake Miller is going to watch it drop in fair territory. It's a fair ball. Gribble held up between first and second because he didn't think it was a fair ball. He'll end up at second. So did Ashton White. He had to hold up to make sure it was a fair ball. Run comes home to score to tie the game. That's a double for Gribble. That's going to bring Ethan Fannin to the plate. Runners at second and third, still just one out as Fannin bats. Sends that one foul. Oh, and one to count. Oh, one. Oh, my goodness. Coming home, trying to steal home is Sal Gesho, and he was tagged a mile up the bag, up the line from the bag for the second out. It was a double steal as Chase Scribble does take third, but don't think that was the sign Bergen give based on his reaction. I think that was Ashton White <laughs> that, uh, that tried to steal home. As Sal Getcho scored. The 0 1, foul back. Quickly in the hole, 0 and 2 is Ethan Fannin. Well, at some point when you're on third and you're halfway down the line, you just say, hey, I'm already halfway. Let's try it. And try I think that's what happened. <laughs> I'm not for sure. That's, uh, when Swung I get on it. and missed. Strike three. Just try to give him the benefit of the doubt. And after two complete innings. Bottom of the second in the books. We head to the third. We are tied now at one apiece on YouTube Live and Facebook Live. Thanks for locking it in on the Franklin Panthers Sports Network. Zone is your everyday low price sporting goods supplier. We have the sports gear every athlete needs to be successful, from cleats, equipment, and protective gear to complete uniform sets. We even offer screen printing, laser engraving, and embroidery, as well as custom alterations and sublimated printing right here in Franklin. Don't race out of town to find the performance gear you need. If we don't have what you need in stock, we'll be happy to place the order for you. We've lowered our prices throughout the store to give you the opportunity to shop local and score big. Let SportZone help you prepare for battle on game day. See you at SportZone. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in North Carolina. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most. 
but the way the games are played. This message presented by the North Carolina High School Athletic Association and the North Carolina Athletic Directors Association. We apologize, fans, if, uh, if we're on or off here. If you're able to, to catch us, you're one of the lucky few. Top half the third, that one is chop foul. Evens it up, two balls and two strikes. Two, paints the inside corner for strike three. One gone in the top half of the third inning. And that's going to bring to the plate Jed now West. Adding, the Mustang, number 10, Jed West. He bounced to short his only time up. He's 0 for 1. Just missed. See, trying to drop another curve in there. Want to know the count to Jed West. The lights start to come on here at McConnell Field. Tap towards short. Up with it. Gribble to first in time. Two gone after the 6 3 put out of Jed West. That's going to bring Jake Miller to the plate. And with two outs in the inning, that'll bring He struck the out right his only time up. Six, Jake. Miller. We are still off. Swung on and missed for strike one. One and one the count to Jake Miller. That ooh, got him guessing and almost caught the inside corner. Two and one the count on Jake Miller. Punches it foul, does Miller. Evens it up, two balls and two strikes. Tom going to be called at the plate. Jake Miller steps out, stands back in. Two two is swung on and missed.
So leading off in the bottom of the third for the Panthers, number 15, Chandler Crawford. Yeah, we have that. We just didn't bring it. Well, the 30 people that were watching are disappointed, but that's about it. for McGuire. I think only one of those or a couple of those ports on that switch are, are public internet too.
the 0-1 pitch to Austin Coker. Bounces up and away. Wilburn scoops, fires, but not in time. And Christopher McGuire comes home to score to give the Panthers a 2-1 advantage. Coker remains at the dish. One and one to count. And he sends that one foul down the third baseline. Sends that one into left center and got a drop in front of the left fielder. Raylan Conlon couldn't catch up to that one. That's a base hit for Austin Coker. The bats are coming alive Dawson here in the third Johnson. inning. For the Panthers is Dawson Johnson will stand in. Flight out on the infield is only time up. He is 0 for 1. All right, we are back on, hopefully. I don't know how many posts we've made. The Internet is uh, really bad tonight here at Macon Middle School. We apologize, but uh, a little out of our hands. Nothing much we can do about it. We are going off of the school's Internet connection. That is hopped from Macon Middle School to the press box here. As that one is sit into center, Dawson Johnson reaches. And as we were away, Christopher McGuire, after a strikeout by Chandler Crawford here in the bottom half of the third inning, McGuire tripled, came home to score on Austin Coker's single. He's at second. And Dawson Johnson, after that single, is at first. That's going to bring the cleanup hitter, Gavin Altry, to the plate. He flied out to right. He's 0 for 1. And that one catches the corner for strike one. And again, we apologize. The Internet, I see it turning red over here, which is never a good sign on our equipment. Internet's been in and out, so if you are seeing us, then we appreciate you. Altry sends that one high and deep, but he got under it. The left fielder, Raylan Conlon, going to camp under it, make the play for out number two. Runners can't advance. They'll stay put at first and second. That's going to bring Davis Andrews to the plate. Davis Andrews. Anders singled, came around to score the first run for the Panthers back in the second inning. As Anders stands in with runners at first and second and two gone. Wilburn blocks that one at the plate, keeps the runners at first and second. Want to know the count to Davis Anders. One oh. Slow dribbler. Webb picks it up, fires to first, and he got it. That's gonna do it for the Panthers in the bottom half of the third inning. Run comes across. Panthers leave two on the bags. 
And as we head to the fourth inning, Franklin has taken a 2-1 to one advantage over the Mustangs. Hang with us on YouTube Live and Facebook Live. This is the Franklin Panthers Sports Network. Located at 461 Highland Road in Franklin, Carolina Junction Power Equipment is your local stop for lawnmowers, blowers, chainsaws, weed eaters, and all parts and accessories. Carolina Junction Power Equipment is also your local power sports dealer. They sell Can-Am side-by-sides and ATVs. Plus, have a full service shop for all of your power equipment and power sport needs. Give them a call at 828-369-9655 or come by today to see the largest selection of inventory around. Planning a kitchen or bathroom remodel? The first call you need to make is to Anders Custom Woodworking. Tim Anders specializes in custom cabinetry and granite countertops for kitchens, bathrooms, offices, and entertainment centers. From the large kitchens to the smallest bathrooms, Anders Custom Woodworking will make sure your specific needs are met. Give Tim Anders a call at 828-342-4222 for a free estimate today. Sport Zone is your everyday low price sporting goods supplier. We have the sports gear every athlete needs to be successful, from cleats, equipment, and protective gear to complete uniform sets. We even offer screen printing, laser engraving, and embroidery, as well as custom alterations and sublimated printing right here in Franklin. Don't race out of town to find the performance gear you need. We've lowered our prices throughout the store to give you the opportunity to shop local and score big. See you at Sport Zone. Welcome back, fans. Top of the fourth inning we go at McConnell Field. Smoky Mountain now trailing the Panthers 2-1 to one as Conlon going to lead things off for the Mustangs in their half of the fourth inning. Conlon reached on an error, came around the score, the only run for the Mustangs so far. He stands into the right-handed batter, the left-handed batter's box, awaiting the first offering from McGuire, punches that towards third, under the glove, picked up by Gribble, throws to first, and not in time. Colin reaches. Legs out a single. Brings up the third baseman, number eight. Going to bring Clayton, Clayton Dillard, Dillard to the plate. He singled back in the second inning, was stranded at third. Sorry about that, Jared. Hey, it's no problem. <laughs> I wouldn't mute me to <laughs> all the issues we have had. I uh, <laughs> forgot to hit the button over here. The throw goes over to first. As we had the technical difficulties, you uh, did you grab some popcorn? What you have? I did there? not. I just sit over here and enjoyed the game. <laughs> finally, the bats woke up. Yeah, they did. Finally, got to see some good baseball here. It's Another a tough play. bunt. McGuire, nice throw, and a tough throw. Fading away from the line. He'll get the runner at first. Does advance. Conlon down to second. Up number 20. Gosh, I hate it. Does as a first baseman. McCoy. You know that's the only play the pitcher's got. And then you lose it when he throws it across the runner. Going to bring Gavin McCoy to the plate. He had a sack bot that moved the runners over in that one run second inning for Smoky Mountain. Runner at second, one out. Paints the inside corner for strike one. Curveball still pretty sharp by McGuire. Oh, 01 a hot strike for strike two fans below us most of the Smoky Mountain fans are right below our microphone but hear a lot of the groans from the fans in blue O2 is not going to be delivered The 0-2 bounces up to Anders. He keeps it in front of him. And keeps the runner at second. That's a good job of using your head right there by Davis Anders. Right off the old hockey mask. 
You know, you could hear that from up here. You know, they they brought those out to help with concussions, and I swear those rung my bell more than the skull caps. I don't think they have as much padding in there as that one. Will Bean, Gavin McCoy will head down to first. But they didn't hurt as bad as getting drilled with the baseball by the pitch. Number 13, when you were Cooper, hit. Yeah, that, that doesn't feel good at all. doesn't matter where it hits you. And that'll bring to the plate leave. They got a Yeah, this is Cooper Sanders. I thought they were gonna bring in a pinch hitter. First and second, one out as Sanders will take ball one. The second hit batsman for Chris McGuire in the game. The 1 0. Swung on and missed. Brought the heat that time, did McGuire. And uh, Cooper Sanders couldn't catch up to it. One ball, one strike, one out, two on. Top half of the fourth inning. McGuire kicks and fires. That one just misses. Sanders, his last time up, struck out. One of five strikeouts for McGuire in the ballgame. 2 1. Swung on and missed. 2 and 2 to count now on the DH for the Mustangs, Cooper Sanders. A little behind on that fastball right now, but he got a steady dose of curveball his last at bat. 2 2. Did it hit him? Got him. Yes, it did. Back-to-back -back hit batsman. Loads him up. Number three, Chris Wilburn. That's going to bring Chris Wilburn to the plate. He was hit by a pitch back in the second inning. And now we're going to have a meeting on the mound. Meeting of the minds. What's he talking about, Jared? Um, Calming him down a little bit? Yeah. Um. Randy's one of the best, and he knows right now it's not a lot of mechanical stuff right now, just trying to do too much, and I think he's pulling it. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get a pitching change. <laughs> looks like Coker. Austin. And over at third, Crawford will come in from left as the first offering is swung on and missed. Wilburn at the plate for the Mustangs. He was hit by a pitch his last time up. Now out in left field is Christopher McGuire. Those are the changes defensively for the Panthers. The 0-1. Mm. There's and that fast strike. Right 
Late life, down, in the zone. Hard to hit. The 0-2. That one's well outside. Had a little extra on that one. Base is loaded. One, two. Stays alive. Ball, two strikes. Lincoln Sutton on deck. He was a victim of a strikeout. His last time up at the dish. One, two. That one is sent foul. Look out on the first baseline. It's going to interrupt that other baseball game going on out there. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that was pretty intense. I know half of those knuckleheads out there. Uh, yeah, you've got to you've got to stay alive down that first baseline. A lot of fans like to sit down that first baseline. But you've got to keep your eye out. Inside for ball two. Two good fastballs in right there. I'd be surprised if those that slider right here. Two two, pops on the infield. Fannin going to make the play in foul territory for the second out. So White gets the critical out with the pop up, and now. And that's going to bring Lincoln Sutton, the non-hole hitter, to the plate, victim of a strikeout. Bases remain loaded, but two are gone. Swings and misses, does Sutton at that hard throwing Ashton White. That's Coker. I mean, uh, yeah. Coker, excuse me. That found one a little is, extra gear right he there. He sure did. Two pitch here. I'd stay with that good fastball if it was me. Set in the air and going to be caught by the shortstop, Chase Gribble. So Coker comes in and gets out of a jam. Bases loaded jam. Let's get Wilburn to pop up and Sutton to line out. That's going to do it for the Smoky Mountain Mustangs. They leave the bases loaded in the top half of the fourth inning. We head to the bottom half, the home half of the fourth, here in just a few moments. Stay with us. We're coming for everyone this year. Hi, everybody, and welcome in to another night of Franklin Panthers football. Yeah, yes, sir. That's complete. It's good to just go out there and win. Located at 461 Highland Road in Franklin, Carolina Junction Power Equipment is your local stop for lawnmowers, blowers, chainsaws, weed eaters, and all parts and accessories. Carolina Junction Power Equipment is also your local power sports dealer. They sell Can-Am side-by-sides and ATVs. Plus, have a full service shop for all of your power equipment and power sport needs. Give them a call at 828-369-9655 or come by today to see the largest selection of inventory around. Planning a kitchen or bathroom remodel? The first call you need to make is to Anders Custom Woodworking. Tim Anders specializes in custom cabinetry and granite countertops for kitchens, bathrooms, offices, and entertainment centers. From the large kitchens to the smallest bathrooms, Anders Custom Woodworking will make sure your specific needs are met. Give Tim Anders a call at 828-342-4222 for a free estimate today. Welcome back, fans. We head to the bottom of the fourth inning. 
Two to one remains the score after Smoky Mountain left the bases loaded in the top half of this fourth inning. Ashton White going to lead things off. He pops it up the chute on the infield. Who wants it? Nobody's going to get it as the catcher, Chris Wilburn, could not find it and make a clean play. It's just a loud strike. It's a hard play for a catcher. First baseman's got to come make that play. A very hard, especially with that catcher's mitt. And the ball's going to go back towards the infield, so it's going away from you, and you're chasing it. But it's a tough play. It's good for Ashton, though. Oh, one to White. Slow, slow. Oh, and two to Kemp. That's borderline of Ephus pitch right there. Too. <laughs> well, I've seen some <laughs> slow pitch softball. I think that it's a little more ump on it. One of those gravity balls. <laughs> oh, two. That one bounces up to Wilbur. It's almost like the old wiffle ball. I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Know, and oh. it just comes in there and just almost dies as it's, whoa, we're heading up to the sky. Now we're back down to home plate, the 1 2. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Noah Webb, the pitcher, has remained on the bump throughout the evening for the Mustangs. It's a pretty good ball game. Struck out three Panther batters so far in the game as that one misses. No, he's, he's kept us out front all night. <laughs> Awaiting the 1-0 offering. Pop foul back behind us. Awaiting the 1-1. One, one. Ball two strikes on Chase Gribble. And I think the biggest thing for him, I mean, he's, he's a competitor. He's competing. And you, and you preach that at a young age to everybody, just compete. And uh, he's got two coaches that I played with at Western, Jeremy Ellenberg and Derek Hawk, that – Super competitors. Slipped out of his hand at that pitch. He wins it up. Two balls and two strikes. <laughs> Runs at full, three and two. Back foul. Chase is still out front. He's got to slow down just a little bit. Three, two. And catches the inside corner for strike three. At the shoe tops for strike three. It's going to bring to the plate Ethan Fannin, first baseman. Back-to-back base -back strikeouts seven, for Noah Webb Ethan against Panther batters. Fannin, victim of a strikeout, his last time up at the dish. Two and another count. It ain't working. Okay. 
2-0 pitch. Sent in to center. Stevens under it. Makes the play for the final out. After four complete, your score, the Mustangs won. 2-1 two one, two. Panthers. Do you want to go to break? Or? Sport Zone is your everyday low price sporting goods supplier. We have the sports gear every athlete needs to be successful, from cleats, equipment, and protective gear to complete uniform sets. We even offer screen printing, laser engraving, and embroidery, as well as custom alterations and sublimated printing right here in Franklin. Don't race out of town to find the performance gear you need. We've lowered our prices throughout the store to give you the opportunity to shop local and score big. See you at Sport Zone. Zone is your everyday low price sporting goods supplier. We have the sports gear every athlete needs to be successful, from cleats, equipment, and protective gear to complete uniform sets. We even offer screen printing, laser engraving, and embroidery, as well as custom alterations and sublimated printing right here in Franklin. Don't race out of town to find the performance gear you need. If we don't have what you need in stock, we'll be happy to place the order for you. We've lowered our prices throughout the store to give you the opportunity to shop local and score big. Let Sport Zone help you prepare for battle on game day. See you at Sport Zone. Yeah. Dustin Stevens will lead things off at the top of the fifth inning. See, again, wants to bunt. That one bounces to the backstop for ball one. Stevens sends that one right up the middle for a base hit. Seeing eye single for Dustin Stevens. And we'll bring up the short he stands the at first. That's going to bring to the plate Jed West. He is 0 for 2 so far. A pair of bouncers too short. As Stevens stands at first. Got a good ball game. Looks like we got some more action, Jared, heading towards the bullpen. Looks like Braxton. As Stevens takes off, throw down to second, nobody's there. Mm. It hit him. It hit Stevens. A little miscommunication there. Who had the bag? I'll discuss things. Ball was out of the zone. I want to know the count to Jed West. Now, runner in scoring position, the tying run for the Smoky Mountain Mustang stands at second. West at the plate. one -oh. Tapper towards third. Up with it is Crawford to first in time. Stevens will advance from second to third. One gone with a tying run, now just 90 feet away for the Mustangs. That'll bring Jake Miller to the plate. Pair of strikeouts. He's 0 for 2. Jake Miller. Be a good time for one more. Austin Coker remains on the bump. Came in relief of Christopher McGuire back in the fourth inning. Got the corners in here. Going to cut him down at the plate. We'll get a chance. That was a little high and tight for ball one. A 
awaiting the 1-0. Some heat that time from Coker. Swung on and missed. I think Coker knows right there. Reaching back for that fastball. He knows it's a big situation. He got a fast guy on first. I'm not going to take a deep fly ball to, or third. I'm not going to take a deep fly ball to score him. 1-1. One, one. Mm. You can hear that glove pop all the way up here. Ball two strikes now after that high heater from Austin Coker to Jake Miller. And he came up empty with a swing. And Coker's a low 80s guy, but I swear Friday and then a few of these pitches, he's <laughs> kind of in the middle. Top of the mitt for sure. Yeah. That one's in the dirt. Nice snag by Davis Anders to keep the runner at third. Two balls, two strikes. Coker winds and deals at the knees. Strike three. Two gone. That'll bring to the plate Raylan Conlon. Batter, number five, Rylan Conlon. Conlon reached on an air, and he singled back in the fourth inning to lead off. At fourth inning, where the Mustangs left the bases loaded. And the man on the hill, Austin Coker, came in relief and got out of a jam. That one is poked into left field for a base hit. That'll tie the game. Rounding first, headed to second. Raylan Conlon with a double and an RBI. We are tied at two. Aston Stevens comes home from third. Third baseman. Number That's going to bring Clayton, Clayton Dillard to Dillard. the plate. Sacrifice. Back in the fourth inning. And a single all the way back in the second. Two gone. One in for the Mustangs. We are tied at two as the runner at second. And Conlon gets the lead. And that one is right down Broadway for strike one. What do you call it, a ball? They have a ball up on the scoreboard. I think they called it a strike. Going off of what the Smoky Mountain fans <laughs> yeah, said. That's kind of what I was saying as well. They've got a ball up on the scoreboard. That's why I wonder. We'll wait for the umpire. Now they have switched it. It was a strike. 0 and 1 the count. That one almost took his head off. Evens it up at a ball and a strike. No look. Hmm. 1 1. That one sent foul. One, two. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Run does come home to score. The Mustangs will strand a runner. But we are tied at two fans as we had to break on FPSN. Located at 461 Highland Road in Franklin, Carolina Junction Power Equipment is your local stop for lawnmowers, blowers, chainsaws, weed eaters, and all parts and accessories. Carolina Junction Power Equipment is also your local power sports dealer. They sell Can-Am side-by-sides and ATVs. Plus, have a full service shop for all of your power equipment and power sport needs. Give them a call at 828-369-9655 or come by today to see the largest selection of inventory around. Planning a kitchen or bathroom remodel? The first call you need to make is to Anders Custom Woodworking. Tim Anders specializes in custom cabinetry and granite countertops for kitchens, bathrooms, offices, and entertainment centers. From the large kitchens to the smallest bathrooms. 
Anders Custom Woodworking will make sure your specific needs are met. Give Tim Anders a call at 828-342-4222 for a free estimate today. Sport Zone is your everyday low-priced sporting goods supplier. We have the sports gear every athlete needs to be successful, from cleats, equipment, and protective gear to complete uniform sets. We even offer screen printing, laser engraving, and embroidery, as well as custom alterations and sublimated printing right here in Franklin. Don't race out of town to find the performance gear you need. We've lowered our prices throughout the store to give you the opportunity to shop local and score big. See you at Sport Zone. We head to the bottom of the fifth inning. We are tied at two. Franklin will send to the plate. Chandler Crawford, Chris McGuire, and Austin Coker here in the home half of the fifth inning. Send that one down the left field line. You're giving chase, and it's going to hit the bottom of the fence over there. Raylan Conlon could not catch up with it in time. It's just a long strike. Crawford struck out his only time up at the plate. Webb deals. One ball and one strike. There's that super slow curveball again. One one. No one set in the air towards right. Jake Miller will make the play. One gone in the bottom half of the fifth two, inning. That's going to bring Christopher McGuire to the plate. McGuire flied out and tripled. He came around to score in the third inning after tripling. Base is clear. One gone. McGuire going to send that one towards second and off the glove. That'll be an error on Lincoln Sutton. Your pitcher, number 20. I tell you, that probably still would have been a bang bang play if he'd have filled it cleanly with the way McGuire runs. Yeah, McGuire has some wheels. You saw him on the football field just a couple of months ago. Well, Coker's due. He's throwing the ball well. He's due for a big hit right here. And with Chris's wheels, it wouldn't take much in the gap for him to score. McGuire Good takes off. That one is going to fall in front of the left fielder, Conlon. Get by, Conlon. That's going to score McGuire. Throw comes in, but it's well late. And McGuire will cross the plate to give the Panthers the lead once again. Single for Austin Coker. Bring up number eight. Make that a double Dawson. for Austin Coker. Johnson. It's going to bring Dawson Johnson to the plate. He singled and flied out. Runner at second. And one gone. Sends that one straight up, and it's going to reach the out-of-bounds area for a long strike. Johnson, one for two, with a single back in the third. Gavin Altry, the cleanup hitter, is on deck. And Austin Coker there at second. You see him scampering back as... Webb steps off briefly. Now Cooker going to get the lead at second. That one is poked into right field. Coming on and diving. Miller cannot make the play. Advancing down to third is Coker. Johnson is safe at first. 
was a tough play for the right fielder. Bring up number 14, Gavin Tough play, a good read by Coker. That's a hard ball because you can't get off too far because he's so close to second base if he makes a great play, comes up throwing. So runners on the corners. Get a 3-2 game. It's going to bring Gavin Autry to the plate. He has a pair of flyouts. He's 0 for 2. And as I like to say, Jared, he's due. Oh, yeah. He's hey, got a big bat. He can keep his barrel on top of this baseball. He's liable to hit this one a long way. We're the third time through the lineup, so we've seen it. We've seen the slow and the slow and the slower. Um, now it's just i got to stay back and make an adjustment and trust everything that I've done so far to this point in the cages and on the field and all these practices. Just get the barrel straight to it. And, and Gavin's a big, strong kid. Comes up empty with the first swing. One gone. Runners on the corners for the Panthers. McGuire has scored two of the Panther runs in this game. Came around earlier in this inning. Swung on and missed. Dawson Johnson going to take second without a throw. Owen to the count to Gavin Altry. Bring the infield in right here. Try to cut this run down. Autry is going to call time and step out. The whole infield's on the lip of the grass, except for first base. Playing the back regular depth. Now he's going to crawl towards the lip. Johnson gets a lead at second. 0-2 is swung on and missed for strike three. So, Gavin Autry will take a seat after striking out. That's going to bring Davis Anders to the plate. But two are gone now in the inning. Runners remain at second and third for Anders. Here's another one, George. That is due. Yep, yep, yep. No doubt about that. They'd have a single back in the second. But could blow this game open if he could get a single here as that one is low and outside for ball one. We don't have nothing too big here. Base hit's going to score two with two outs here. That one misses. Nobody's holding the runner on second, so Dawson's able to get a Big lead and a good secondary, so single works here. Enfield's playing back now, 2-0. That one catches the outside corner. Two balls and a strike to Davis Anders. And that's a good take. You don't want to hit that ball 2-0. Still in a really good hitter's count. 2-1 pitch. From Noah Webb, here it is. Popped up down the first base line. Now can't find it. Shallow right, and nobody is going to make it. It falls as a foul ball on the right. I don't know right. if the umpire saw that either. I, I don't think he did either. I think that was a fair ball. And the uh, official ruling is a uh, foul ball. Everybody's got to go back to their respective bases. Count now is even at two balls and two strikes to Davis Anders. He's got to come back to the plate and pick up his bat and regroup. It's at that point in time at night where you've got twilight above. The lights are bright, but directly above you've got cloud cover. It's hard to pick up the ball. Swung on and missed. Got away from the catcher. They're going to have to throw him out at first, and they do for the final out. Panthers 
will strand a couple. Do play to run. Franklin up three to two as we head to the sixth. Stay with us. is your everyday low price sporting goods supplier. We have the sports gear every athlete needs to be successful, from cleats, equipment, and protective gear to complete uniform sets. We even offer screen printing, laser engraving, and embroidery, as well as custom alterations and sublimated printing right here in Franklin. Don't race out of town to find the performance gear you need. If we don't have what you need in stock, we'll be happy to place the order for you. We've lowered our prices throughout the store to give you the opportunity to shop local and score big. Let Sport Zone help you prepare for battle on game day. See you at Sport Zone. Welcome back. We head to the top of the sixth inning. 3 2 Franklin. Coker remains on the hill for the Panthers. Came in relief of Christopher McGuire. Coker going to make his final warm up tosses and we'll get to action. Here in the Smoky Mountains, sixth inning. Nelson, Gavin McCoy, Cooper Sanders, and Chris Wilbur to the plate. As the throw goes down to second from Davis Sanders. And a good one here at McConnell Field, Lincoln Middle School. Back and forth, this ball game has been throughout. 3-2 the score. Came into the fifth inning in a tie game. Bottom of the fifth, Panthers able to push across the run. Make it 3-2. McCoy stands in. And that one pops the mid of Davis Sanders for strike one. Oh one. Smoky Mountain fans didn't like that. Neither did Gavin McCoy. Going to step out briefly. Oh and to the count now. Gavin McCoy hit by a pitch at a sack bunt. He's 0 for two. Bounces up to Anders. Mm. Tough one there. Awaiting the one two, here it is. Popped into right, shallow right field. Autry got to camp under it and make the play for the first out. McCoy is retired. It's going to bring Cooper Sanders to the plate. Strikeout hit by a pinch. Oh, we're going to get a pinch hitter. Cole James got a pitch hit for the DH, Cooper Sanders. Chop, dribble, fields to first. Not in time, couldn't be scooped. By the first baseman, Ethan Fannin. That's ruling there, Jared. Yeah, error? That's, that's an error on, on the throw or at the first, first base? baseman? First I, I, base. I think that ball made it all the way there in the Bring area. up the catcher, number three, Chris Wilbur. Eight three in the book. Sometimes eyeballs get a little quick and, yep. and come off of that and don't watch it disappear into the glove. So an error allows Cole James to reach first. That's going to bring Chris Wilburn, the catcher, to the plate. He was hit by a pitch and flied out. Now a throw to first and back safely is Cole James. <laughs> a 
they agree with you in the dugout. They've put an error up on the scoreboard. James gets a lead at first. Sent down the third baseline and by a diving, Chandler Crawford. That'll be a base hit for Chris Wilburn. Two on with one out for Lincoln Sutton. Second baseman, number 12. That's really the only mistake Coker has made coming into this ball game. Kind of left that slider hanging a little bit. Took advantage of it. A strikeout and a line out. He's 0 for 2 is Sutton. First and second, one gone. Backs him off the plate. Want to know the count. We haven't seen a double play today. Be a good time for one of those. 1 0. Couldn't catch up with it. One one offering from Coker. Ball, two strikes now to Lincoln Sutton. Swung on and missed for strike three. Big out of the inning. Two are gone. Runners remain at first and second. That's going to bring the top of the order. Dustin Stevens to the plate. Single, strikeout, and a ground out. He's one for three. Stevens stands in with two gone. Here in the top half of the sixth. And there for strike. Yo one. It's a big at bat for Stevens right here and for Coker. I think by far he's been one of their hottest hitters. There's that good fastball. Awaiting the one-two pitch from Coker. Here it is. Swung on and missed for strike three. Great pitch. We head to the bottom half of the sixth inning. Score remains 3-2 Panthers. Stay with us. We're coming for everyone this year. Hi, everybody, and welcome in to another night of Franklin Panthers football. Yeah, yes, yes, sir. Complete. It's good to just go out there and win. Is your everyday low price sporting goods supplier. We have the sports gear every athlete needs to be successful, from cleats, equipment, and protective gear to complete uniform sets. We even offer screen printing, laser engraving, and embroidery, as well as custom alterations and sublimated printing right here in Franklin. Don't race out of town to find the performance gear you need. If we don't have what you need in stock, we'll be happy to place the order for you. We've lowered our prices throughout the store to give you the opportunity to shop local and score big. 
Let Sports Zone help you prepare for battle on game day. See you at Sports Zone. Bottom of the sixth we go here at McConnell Field. Three to two. Panthers on top of the Mustangs. Eight hits, two errors so far in the game. Five hits, two runs for the Mustangs. Bottom half of the order, two up for the Panthers in the inning. Second baseman Ashton White can lead things off. Chase Gribble and Ethan Fannin. Could have bat this inning. Six, seven, and eight hit a Panther order. Noah Webb remains on the hill for the Mustangs. He kicks and fires, and did that hit him? No, it didn't. It backed him off for ball one. Definitely need some insurance runs right here. Yeah, it's been an adventure. Ball Sent hard. into right field. Backpedaling is Jake Miller, and he'll make the play job, for round number one. Webb kicks and fires. Looked like Ribble wanted to square around and possibly bunt. And that's one of those slow ones that did not catch anything. Ball one. I guess you can call it uh, very, very, very off speed. The 1-0 uh -oh. is sent into left. And over the head of the left fielder, Braylon Conlin, going to kick all the way to the wall. That will be a double. For Chase Gribble. That's a Gribble. good sign. Gribble stands at second. And it looked like number seven, Ethan Raylan Conlin misjudged that one. We can't really tell from our angle exactly what transpired out left, but he uh, he didn't look like he was able to pick it up off the bat, which is uh, very common at this point in time at night. Those line drives right at you, you don't know which way to go. Yeah, you can't judge it very well, for sure. And hard to see this, but this time of night, hard to see that spin. See if that thing's tailing in the gap or hooking down the line. But that's good for Chase. He needs to get going and, and finish out this year. Hit the, the ball hard. 0-1. Oh Catches the corner. 0-2 oh the count now. To Ethan Fannin. He struck out back at the second inning. Got a huge hole at second base. <laughs> the shift is on. That one just missed. Smoky Mountain knows the importance of that runner at second. There's some insurance to the Panthers. Long look back. Now Webb going to step off. Waiting the one two. Runner takes off, swung on and missed. Got away from the catcher. They'll tag out Ethan Fannin at the plate with a strikeout. Gribble does advance down to third. So some insurance is just 90 feet away, but two are gone. That's going to bring Chandler Crawford to the plate. 
Crawford and a strikeout and a flyout. He's 0 for 2. Sent in to left center pretty well. And going to be caught by Dustin Stevens in center field for the final out. We head to the top of the seventh inning. After three to two, Franklin, stay with us. We're coming for everyone this year. Hi, everybody, and welcome in to another night of Franklin Panthers football. Yeah, yes, That's sir. complete. It's good to just go out there and win. Welcome back, fans, as the uh, those tones of Kenny Rogers at the greatest bring us back. Top of the seventh, Panthers need three outs. And as long as no runs cross for the Smoky Mountain Mustangs, they will pick up their first conference win and three tries as Franklin is on a three-game slide in the conference and make it the Third win over the Smoky Mountain Mustangs here in 2014. And uh, if this score holds, two of the games have been uh, nip and tuck ball games. As Panthers, a couple of weeks ago here at McConnell Field, had to come back in that game and ended up winning in the seventh inning, 7-6. Seven, One run affair here. Leading things off, Jed West, Jake Miller, and Braylon Conlon slated to bat this inning for Smoky Mountain. Two, three, and four in the Mustang order. They couldn't dial it up any better. The heart of the order due up. Needing a run to keep it going. That one misses for ball one. <laughs> Coker deals some heat for strike one. One one. Two and one the count. That one had some umph behind it. Evens it up. Or check that. Pushes the count to three and one. Three one pitch. Runs it full three and two. If I'm Coker, I'm staying with that pitch for the rest of this inning. I'm gonna go down with my best stuff. And his fastball right now is still electric. Hey off. Up the middle, base hit. Eats up the center fielder. Putting on the brakes, Jed West heads back to first as it didn't get too far away from Dawson Johnson. Number six, Jake Miller. Single for the Mustangs. That's going to bring Jake Miller to the plate. Runner at first, nobody out. Miller, three strikeouts in the game. He's 0 for 3. First base hit for Jed West after rounding out on the infield three consecutive times at the dish. He's now 1 for 4. He 
Here's the 1 0. Ball and a strike to Jake Miller. Braylon Collin on deck has a, uh, a double and a single. He'll bat next. Jed West at first, the tying run for the Mustangs. 1-1 one, one offering, now a throw over, and back safely is Jed West. Doesn't have much of a lead over there. It won't be too aggressive right here, though, and make the first out on the bases. Yeah. Just want to keep them honest over there. Now another throw over. One one fouled off third baseline. Ball two strikes to Jake Miller. Trying to get off the Schneid in the ball game with three consecutive strikeouts. Jake Miller in the hole. Ball two strikes. Foul back, stays alive. Scared some fans right below us. As that one went on a line right towards them in the fence. That'll wake you up. <laughs> yeah, look out. See your life flash before your eyes, and then the, the net catches the ball. You flinch every time. <laughs> oh, yeah. No doubt. A big pitch right here. He hadn't looked comfortable to play it all night. One, two. Swung on and missed. Strike three. So that is four consecutive strikeouts for Jake Miller as Number he takes five, a seat. Brylan. That's going to bring Brylan Conlin to the plate. Two for three. Single, a double, and he reached out an air back at the second inning. One remains at first, but one is gone here in the top half of the seventh inning. <laughs> Coker throws over to first, and again, back safely. It's Jed West. I had his thought of something. Yeah. Guy's got three strikeouts, and you don't bunt the, you don't sacrifice bunting. First offering. Good pitch. Catches the corner for strike one. First, and again, back safely is Jed West. A lot of concentration on that runner at first. Of course, that is the most important run, is that would tie the ball game. Swings and misses, throw down to first, and he is safe. As hanging off the bag was Jed West. 0-2 oh, the count now to Braylon Conlon. A little too big on that secondary. The 0-2. Well outside. Ball one. All right, George, you've watched a lot of baseball. What are you throwing right here, a fastball or that slider? Well, I 
might say a slider. We'll see. Ball two strikes. And he sends that one into center field on a line, and it's going to get down. Dawson Johnson couldn't catch up to it in center field. That's a base hit. Bring up number eight. First and second. Bring up number eight from the And one Clayton gone. Dillard. That's going to bring Clayton Dillard to the plate. Nothing hurt right here. Still got to relax, keep the ball down, and get a ground ball and a double play, and we can go home. Got yeah, double play still in order here. Runners at first and second. And the right-handed hitting Clayton Dillard at the plate. Struck out. Had a sacrifice bunt back at the fourth and singled. All the way back in the second inning as he takes a strike. Fouled off at the plate. And the hole 0 and 2 now. It's Dillard. Dillard pulling off the baseball a little bit. I think he got to stay away right here, make him chase something off the plate. The 0 2. Swung on and missed. Or strike three. That's a big out. Two gone. That's going to bring Gavin McCoy to the plate. Or you can do that and if you throw 85. The first baseman, number 20, Gavin McCoy. Strikeout. Uh, never brought tears to anybody's eyes if you're a pitcher. <laughs> they say that the double play is the pitcher's best friend, though. But the strikeout's close second. McCoy will watch a strike clip the outside corner. McCoy was hit by a pitch back in the fourth inning, flied out to right, and had a sack butt. That one pops the mitt for strike two. to the count now as that one misses the zone. Panthers trying to break a three games uh, skid in the conference. They can close this one out. One, two. Evens it up, two and two. Big pitch right here. You don't want to go 3-2. You want to get him right now with your best stuff. So. That one gets away from Davis Anders. And the runners will advance. Payoff pitch about to be delivered to Gavin McCoy at the plate. Now the tying run just 90 feet away. Bounces away. Here comes the runner from third, and he is going to score to tie the game. Pitch got away from Davis Anders at the plate. It was a pretty close play at the plate, but coming in to score pretty easily was Jed West. We are tied at three. Runners remain on the corners as Common did advance down to third. That's going to bring to the plate Cole James. That hits him. Loads him up. Batter number seven, Cole James, takes first base. He's 
going to bring Chris Wilburn to the plate. After Wilburn will get all of his catcher's gear off of him and come to the plate, go down and talk to his coach at the third baseline. That's going to bring uh, Wilburn up. That is one for three. He was hit by a pitch, popped out, and singled. Now we've got a meeting on the mound. We're going to get a pitching change here, Jared. What do you think? I don't think so. I think you leave him in right here. Just get out there and calm him down. Um, he's still got a great fastball working right now. I think he's just pushing a little bit, and that's what you want, though. You want a guy that wants the ball, and he's, he's, he wants the ball right now. He doesn't want to come out, so just get out there calm him down. That's exactly what happened as he remains at the game. Coker on the hill to face Chris Wilbur with the bases loaded and two out. One run in to tie it up. No one outside for ball one. pitch. Long look in. Here he comes. And that one's well out of the zone. Nowhere to put him. But the base is loaded. But two are out in the inning. Lincoln Sutton on deck. That one's right down the middle for strike one. Two one, swung on and missed. Evens it up. Two balls and two strikes. Two are out. Bases loaded. Top half of the seventh inning, tied at three. After Smokey played the run here in the inning to tie it up. Two two. Full count. Three and two. Now your runners are going to be in motion here. Off pitch. Smokey takes the lead on the hit by pitch. Another hit by pitch. Base is going to remain loaded. Now the Mustangs are on top, four to three. Brings up number 12. And now we may get a pitching change. Yeah, I think now you got to go get him. Bring in Ashton White off second base. Back-to-back -back hit by pitches. So we're going to have a pitching change here at McConnell Field. We will take a break. Come back, tell you about the new pitcher here in just a few moments. We're coming for everyone this year. Hi, everybody, and welcome in to another night of Franklin Panthers football. Yeah, yes, That's sir. complete. It's good to just go out there and win. Seven. 
Welcome back. We're trying to figure out exactly who is going to go to second because the second baseman is now on the mound for the Panthers. Austin Coker goes down to third. We've got Janet Crawford moving back over to second. Second is Crawford. Ashton White is on the mound. He's going to take his final warm-up tosses. As the bases are loaded. Two gone. Here in the top of the seventh inning. Smokey now on top. Four to three after a hit by a pitch. Drove in the go-ahead run to Smoky Mountain Mustangs. A couple of more warm-up tosses will be hurled towards Davis Sanders. And um, as I change my score sheet, Batting for the, Mustang, number 12, the Mustangs will send Lincoln Sutton to the plate to face Ashton White. First one's in there for a strike. Two gone in the inning, but two have come across for the Smoky Mountain Mustangs. It a forced pitching change to the Panthers, 0-1. And therefore, a strike quickly. Lincoln Sutton in the hole, 0-2. It's a great job by Ashton. He had a rough start on Friday, but he's done really good coming out of the pen. And there you go. We'll head to the bottom of the seventh inning with Franklin now trailing. Four to three. Stay with us. Located at 461 Highland Road in Franklin, Carolina Junction Power Equipment is your local stop for lawnmowers, blowers, chainsaws, weed eaters, and all parts and accessories. Carolina Junction Power Equipment is also your local power sports dealer. They sell Can-Am side-by-sides and ATVs. Plus, have a full service shop for all of your power equipment and power sport needs. Give them a call at 828-369-9655 or come by today to see the largest selection of inventory around. Planning a kitchen or bathroom remodel? The first call you need to make is to Anders Custom Woodworking. Tim Anders specializes in custom cabinetry and granite countertops for kitchens, bathrooms, offices, and entertainment centers. From the large kitchens to the smallest bathrooms, Anders Custom Woodworking will make sure your specific needs are met. Give Tim Anders a call at 828-342-4222 for a free estimate today. Sport Zone is your everyday low price sporting goods supplier. We have the sports gear every athlete needs to be successful, from cleats, equipment, and protective gear to complete uniform sets. We even offer screen printing, laser engraving, and embroidery, as well as custom alterations and sublimated printing right here in Franklin. Don't race out of town to find the performance gear you need. We've lowered our prices throughout the store to give you the opportunity to shop local and score big. See you at Sport Zone. We head to the bottom of the seventh inning with Smoky Mountain now on top, four to three. And the, uh, the hit's almost even now. Christopher McGuire, who is going to lead things off, began on the hill and only gave up two runs, or excuse me, two hits. And uh, he was pulled after he got a little erratic. Same thing happened in the uh, top half of this uh, seventh inning as Coker got a little erratic. And McGuire will take low for ball one. This is where you want to be, though. You got your top of the line up. You got your fastest man up right now. And Panthers still in a pretty good position. He here. couldn't ask for a better position in the lineup to start trailing by a run in the bottom of the seventh as that one misses. 2-0 oh, the count to Christopher McGuire. And it's the fourth time through the lineup, so that we've seen him four times. And Maybe time we can make ball. an adjustment here. Yeah, Noah Webb has pitched the entire ball game. Now the umpire got to rush off the plate.
Here's the 2-0 pitch. Sent towards first. Going to be scooped. And McCoy will head to the bag for the unassisted play for the first down. 3-U in the books. Those Christopher McGuire, and that's going to bring Austin Coker to the plate. One gone, nobody on for Austin Coker. Single, a double, and he flied out. He's two for three. As that one bounces up to the backstop, Wilbur didn't have a chance with that one. Want to know the count. Sent down the third baseline in the left field. That'll be a foul ball. Evens it up and a ball and a strike. Nobody on. One out of the inning. It's been a nip and tuck ball game throughout. Franklin's played it a run in the second, the third, and the fifth inning. Smokey able to get two across in the top half of this seventh to tie it up. They played it a run back in the fifth, and back in the second inning is that one. They'll miss well outside. Ball two. Two and one the count. Austin Coker. That one is sent into center. Stevens is going to watch it fly over his head. Coker is going to stand at second with a double. Two doubles in the ball game for Austin Coker. And the tying run is at second in scoring position as Dawson Johnson comes to the plate. And now we're going to have a meeting on the mound. We may get a pitching change here. Johnson, two for three at the dish against Noah Webb. And you mentioned that, Jared. This is the fourth time through the order. And yeah, we are going to get a pitching change. Yep. As Smoky Mountain's going to go to the bullpen. As Noah Webb pitched a pretty good ball game, scattering three runs over six innings. And we're going to get a new pitcher coming in from the bullpen. We'll see who it is, and we'll take a break, come back in just a few moments. Hang with us. We're coming for everyone this year. Hi, everybody, and welcome in to another night of Franklin Panther football. Yeah, yes, That's sir. complete. It's good to just go out there and win. Zone is your everyday low price sporting goods supplier. We have the sports gear every athlete needs to be successful, from cleats, equipment, and protective gear to complete uniform sets. We even offer screen printing, laser engraving, and embroidery, as well as custom alterations and sublimated printing right here in Franklin. Don't race out of town to find the performance gear you need. If we don't have what you need in stock, we'll be happy to place the order for you. We've lowered our prices throughout the store to give you the opportunity to shop local and score big. Let Sport Zone help you prepare for battle on game day. See you at Sport Zone. New pitcher, Ryland Conlon, comes in from left field, and he's ready to go. Johnson at the plate, and he takes ball one on the outside corner. Johnson, a couple of singles as he takes a strike. 
evens it up at a ball and a strike. He flied out. Two for three is Dawson Johnson, the center fielder for the Panthers. Runner at second. Tying run to keep this game going. It's in scoring position. That one well out of the zone. Two balls and a strike to Dawson Johnson. Two one. Foul down the first baseline. Evens it up at two and two. It's a great approach right there by Dawson. He got a huge hole second base. They still got him shaded over to pull. He's trying to hold the runner on second. Balls, two strikes. Backs him off the plate, runs it full, three and two. The ball gets away from Braylon Conlon. He'll secure it and stay in put. Down at second is Austin Coker. Three-two offering about to be delivered from Braylon Conlon to Dawson Johnson. Sit in the air on a line and going to be caught by Dustin Stevens for the second out. A play in center by Stevens. And he hit it hard, stayed on it, line drive. That's tough. That's going to bring up. Gavin Altry, who is 0 for 3, a strikeout, a pair of flyouts. Two gone, runner at second, a tying run to keep this one going. With a cleanup hitter, Gavin Altry at the plate. Smokey looking for their second win of the season. They're one and six coming into this one. 1-0 one -oh pitch. Popped down the line and hooking foul. Got in there just a little bit. Had him tied up a touch, but Gavin's got enough pop to get one out of here. That'll win the game if that happens. He hit one out yesterday in BP over that 380 sign. Hopefully you're predicting the future, Jerry. I'm trying my best. I'm on the edge of my seat here. <laughs> I was going to stand up, but these blinds are in the way. Um, Nostradamus over here. <laughs> we'll see if it happens. A ball and a strike to Gavin Altry. Let's go, Brian. Swung on and missed. Now Autry down to his last strike. Now Conlon going to step off. One, two. Fouls it off, stays alive, does Scavin Autry. One ball, two strikes. Conlon deals. Strike three. Caught the corner for the final out. 
Mustangs will pick up just their second victory in 2021. Four to three and a comeback win over the Franklin Panthers. That'll do it for our coverage here on FPSN. Thank you for joining us on YouTube Live and Facebook Live for all involved. For Jerry Greenwood, I'm George Young. So long. We'll be back here at McConnell Field on Tuesday.